is Tom Brocker to Horizon Lane, um, Kings Cove. I have just felt very frustrated uh, by my efforts to try and understand why we can't get this road repaired. I, I came before you a month ago, brought up the issue uh, as it related to uh, the possible liability we have. I thank you, Mayor. The next day, John, after I came, John came out, put up a fence. Great. All it really did was show you what the damage was. It's actually a lot more than I thought. It's over 100 yards of damage. The person who owns the property adjacent to that actually put up sand barriers and fixed their part of it two years ago. So it can be done. Uh, when I brought this up, I, I was kind of tossed between the city manager and John. And uh, I haven't been able to get a straight answer. Uh, we've heard going back to a few years ago, and I won't bring that up, I'll bring it most recently. In April, we were told by the city manager that this would be done as soon as the summer was over. That came and went. Uh, he came in August to the Kings Cove um, annual meeting and promised it would happen at, right after uh, Labor Day. That came and went. And as I got more involved, the excuses kept coming. Well, he failed to order matting. He failed to order something I didn't even know was, a, I think it's a Gavin, which we've all seen, which, you know, is rocks in a, looks like chicken wire it's used to retain. I keep further pursuing it. I came down to see Lynn, very helpful. Uh, I got the contract which um, GWP was awarded, I think it was in July. There were a couple different time frames around there. Uh, and of the 16, con uh, 16 projects, not one of them mentions Harbor Beach Cove. So I asked, can I see the contract? I was told there was an addendum to that contract. I said, fine, can I see that? John and Lynn tried to help me out, but no one knew where it was. Supposedly it landed somewhere on the city financial planner or manager's desk. On Monday, John called me back and said, I think we have what you need, and I came down. <clears throat> what I was given was not a contract. I was given a spreadsheet from the engineering department. I think it's Robbins, I believe it's the engineering department. And all it said was what the materials would be required to fix it. It's not a contract. It's not a bid. It's nothing's been awarded. Uh, from there, I did not bring the issue up again. I know it's not Lynn or John's responsibility. It's really Ed's. So I... As you know, as you had directed Ed to get back to me, that didn't happen. I took offense to Ed's comment to me about, you know, being an advocate. His comment was, you know, you being an advocate or not, the road's going to get fixed, which I took a little, you know, as an insult. I'm trying to speak in a fair way for representing 51 homes uh, in that community, which, by the way, represents almost a million dollars over three years of taxes. And that wasn't the way I was going. I was more concerned about the liability, which could be millions of dollars should somebody get injured. So where are we today? Uh, I asked John, who came down, did actually did a very good job. We had some uh, actual branches hanging over uh, for three years, and John came and they did an excellent job. They got rid of all that. I was told that was needed to be done in advance of the work to, to repair the road. I asked John what was the update, and John said he didn't have one. And that's fair, and, you know, John's being honest with me. Um, I went around and looked at some of the projects that were done. We paved the parking lot of the golf course. We fixed the boat ramp. We did work down at the entrance to the Cove Beach. I'm sure they're important, none with the liability of what we have for this road, uh, erosion of this road. Tom, I just wanted to let you know you're five minutes. Okay. Uh, so to, to kind of summarize this, I happened to see GWP and one of our employees uh, yesterday down doing the work at the uh, end of, uh, of uh, Lagoon. And I asked, what's the update? When they finish this, as Ed stated, they would be doing simultaneously, um, but they weren't. I said, would you be coming over there? And I kind of got a blank look. So the representative from GWP would not give him his name, so I didn't give him mine. Uh, he said, well, there's an issue. And I said, well, who can I get the answer from? There was a city engineer, and he said, I can't give you a truthful answer because well, I don't know. Maybe I can help you here. I believe Friday, is that right, John? They're having a meeting, the engineer, GWP, and Roberts Engineering. Uh, there were some issues that they have to get together and figure out, and uh, it's a big project. They want to do it right. So, so with all due respect, is there or is there not a contract? That's my first There's question. There is a contract, yes. So they I wouldn't be meeting able, if there wasn't a contract. The Open Public Records Act, I have not been able to obtain There that. is a contract. There would not be a meeting, and they would not be pursuing the work if there wasn't a contract. So but then I, don't, I, I can't get the contract. I haven't been able to obtain it. It's not in 
the city clerk's office. It's John doesn't have it, so who has this contract? Okay. Well, it might just be in the whole realm of it. I'll look tomorrow for you. It's not in the realm. I have the contracts here for okay. the 16 projects. So that doesn't exist. At the end of the meeting, give me your phone number and I'll... And well, I'll see, that happened uh, two meetings ago right. and I didn't get a call well, back. Before you leave tonight, if you don't mind, I would like to get your number because I would like to stay in contact with you. I'll give my number to everybody if they'd like it right here now. I have no issue. My uh, telephone number, my cell phone is 917-142. I welcome anybody's call at this point. Uh, if there's something that's missing in that contract, I want to help you to see what that is because that's something that all of us up here pledged to do to work. So your frustration is my frustration. When I went down and talked to some of your neighbors um, on Saturday, and I saw what was going on and they asked me the same question. I told them, I'm disappointed. Work was supposed to start and I'm going to find out what's wrong. So I'll tell you the same thing that I've told everybody else. We're going to get this done and it's going to be done right. And, and I apologize for the length of time that it's taken because it should not take this long, but unfortunately it has. Right. So I just, I know I'm on time, but I, I will tell you, I, I can guarantee you that the work will not be done this year. I can guarantee it because I spoke to no disrespect, there's no contract. Uh, GWP has already t t told me that. They're having an issue with the engineer right now as to what, how to build this, how to fix this. So they can't order the materials. If you remember, right. I was told it was delayed because he failed over the batting. That's not true. So well, just I, to wrap this up, the bottom line is I'm just looking for transparency. Right. We're and not, let's all be honest, we're not going to get it done because well, they said 30 to 45 days from which they get approval, it would take, that brings us into the middle of December, no one's pouring blacktop in the middle of December. We all know that. So to set expectations, we are not fixing this road this year. Well, Tom, I, I, I have to tell you that we all share your frustration, probably not to the same level because you go by it and see it more frequently than we do, but it's something we want to get done. If anything has fallen through the cracks, it may have been because the city manager has been out um, with surgery. Yeah, it's happened so, way before that. Well, well, I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it. And, you know, once again, if I, I will give you my phone number. So I want you to call me if, if we're not getting to where we need to be, all right? And I, I think we'll know more Friday afternoon. Once everyone gets together, they, they make a plan, they discuss it. So if you want to call the office on Friday afternoon, you know, no disrespect. I don't want to be the person delivering the news. I feel that's the responsibility of the city council to right. say, listen, I, I'm, not, I'm not that guy, right? I don't represent everybody's there's frustration. And I'll tell you, my neighbors don't come forward in really fear of retribution. They don't. Some of them are real estate agents in a town. Some of them are in the Elks Club. Some of them are in different places. And I respect that. But the reality is we can work together to get this accomplishment once we have transparency and we're yeah. telling the truth. Look, so I'll, someone I'll will call you Friday after that meeting to let you know what, what has taken place. So this place. time, on calling me on Friday will happen as opposed to the last time when that didn't happen. Well, well Tom, are you going to the meeting? John you have, but I was told in that meeting that Ed took my number and said he's call, you said he'll call you on Friday, and Ed did not call me. Tom, I will personally call you. Okay. I will personally call you on Friday with an update, I'm and sure if you, you want. My job is as, whether he likes the term advocate or not, is to try, is my responsibility sure. as taxpayer to help represent to make this a better community for everyone. Not and to come up here and complain about it. No. If you're coming here complaining without a thought of a resolution, then you're not doing your civic duty. That's not my intention, to come up here and complain. Sure. I'm trying to get the truth so I can help resolve the problem. And the truth has not been told. Well, I, I can guarantee you you'll get an answer on Friday um, <laughs> if, after that meeting. I don't know what time the meeting is taking place. 10 o'clock, I believe. Okay. Okay, I will await that. I thank you for your time. Thank you, Tom.